Hi everyone, this is Dave and welcome to my review of the Microsoft Surface Pro 4. The model that I had in the studio for the review was the Core i5 version with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Now at the same time as the Surface Pro 4 landed in the studio, the iPad Pro 128GB version actually was delivered exactly the same day. Now that gave me the opportunity to test both devices side by side this isn't going to be a comparative review, but I wanted to let you know that I intended to keep both devices and the Apple iPad Pro was going to fit well within the Apple ecosystem that I use on a daily basis. The Surface Pro 4 was for a specific project. I had some client work to do that really needed some uh, good illustration and I thought that the Surface Pro 4 would hopefully deliver on those fronts. Now, for those of you who've watched my videos for a long time, you'll know that I live within this Apple ecosystem, and you're probably saying, well, the outcome is inevitable. You're gonna hate on Windows and hate everything about the Surface Pro 4. Well, hold fire on those thoughts. Don't judge me too soon, because there was a lot of things that I absolutely loved with the Surface Pro 4. The first thing, the build quality absolutely amazing with every generation of the surface pro and we're up to the fourth generation now microsoft have improved things every single time the build quality is brilliant i love the kickstand that you could position at multiple angles and i also love that integration with the surface pro keyboard which i also had in the studio it just worked really well and that surface pro keyboard is ultra thin and the fact that it acts as a cover for the screen when it's not in use is really the cherry on top of the cake. It is a fantastic device. Moving on to the screen, the screen is amazing as well. Such a good resolution, uh, very good colors as well, and it just performed really well. Using it with the pen, this is where I was expecting it to really deliver, and the pen is very, very good. One, it's included with the device, it's not an additional purchase, not like the Apple Pencil is with the iPad Pro. Uh, and it, it just works very well. It's very good to the touch. Uh, there's not a lot of lag when you're drawing. So when you're drawing sort of quite fast, the processor and the program or application that you're using keeps up with what you're doing. And it's just a very nice feeling stylus or pen. So for digital artists, I think it's gonna be a fantastic product. The performance overall was very good as well. I loaded up Photoshop onto the device and various other applications and it had a good turn of speed. I would say the only reason you should be considering the Core i7 version of the Surface Pro 4, which at the time of doing this recording is about three or four weeks away, is if you're doing really large illustrations and quite graphic intensive work, then you might appreciate that extra bit of power. And the only reason you might sort of consider purchasing the lower end model with the Core M processor is if you're really only gonna be using it for maybe business communications, email, browsing the internet, uh, doing the occasional Word document, etc., etc. But for most intents and purposes, this Core i5 version, right in the middle of the range, is a really good choice. Now, there were things that let it down. First thing was that the actual screen, although it was good quality, good, good uh, resolution, uh, good color saturation and accuracy, it did have quite a bad backlight bleed on some of the edges, especially the top left and along the bottom uh, edge of the screen. So when you're working on a darker background, this was really noticeable. Not a problem day-to-day -day use, but if you are working on sort of darker sort of artwork, which I would be from time to time, it was a little bit distracting. Also, during the setup procedure, I kept getting errors where one, it wouldn't recognize the pen initially, and then two, it wouldn't recognize something else. It, it kept on saying that there was an error in the system and I had to approve access to some DLL system or something I wasn't familiar with. And clicking on OK about six times eventually got rid of that error message. Then I had to do the updates and I've always complained about this and people say you can just walk away whilst it's doing the updates. And yes, I can walk away whilst it's doing the updates, but three hours three hours, I kid you not, waiting for one of the updates or multiple updates to install. And they were three hours that I couldn't use the device. So very, very disappointing about that. And then in stark comparison to the iPad Pro, when I was preparing the Surface Pro 4 to return, and yes, it did get sent back, I had to do a reset. When you do a reset on the iPad Pro, it normally takes anywhere between sort of five and 10 minutes. And again, this is not an exaggeration, eight hours 
doing the restore or the reset on the Surface Pro 4 and it still didn't complete the, uh, the reformatting and the resetting. I had to end up forcing it to shut down and then it would not continue the installation or give me the option to reinstall Windows 10. So a little bit of a letdown on that front as well. Going back to the quality of the device, so let's end on a positive note. It is a fantastic device. It doesn't run the operating system of my choice, but for those of you who are experienced with Windows 10, and for those of you who can deal with those problems on a daily or a weekly basis, I think it's a very good choice. It's a really good performer. And again, for digital artists, it is really well suited. It's got that fantastic included pen or stylus that's great for digital artwork. And don't forget, this is a fully fledged computer and this is where it's got one up on the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro might have that Pro name, but it doesn't have a professional operating system. It runs a mobile operating system. Whereas the Surface Pro 4 runs full blown Windows 10. So you can install all the applications that you want on it, including those professional applications like Photoshop and Lightroom. Uh, maybe you want to install Adobe Premiere on there and do some uh, video editing as well. You can do all of that because it's running Windows 10, a full blown desktop operating system. So it's got a lot of positives as well. I really enjoyed my time with it. It just wasn't for me to keep full time. So thus it is no longer in the studio. But if you're looking for a really decent Windows based laptop or convertible, it should well be worthy of your consideration. So please do check it out. Uh, I'll leave a link to the Microsoft Surface Pro website in the video description. Please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in another video very soon.